Hey guys, Zillag here from Singer Bros, and welcome to a quick, easy installation tutorial for the Clay Soldiers mod Alpha 1.10.2. Now, because this is a really, really early alpha, the current date of this recording is the February the 15th, 2017. So, obviously, in the future. We will have different versions of the alpha and then maybe down the line San Andreas will release the beta but more or less the installation will be the same for each versions unless San Andreas states otherwise. Okay so in the description down below there will be a link to the Clay Soldiers official mod forum. This is what the page looks like. Have a read through most of the forum. Uh, these middle bits, they don't really matter, but what I do recommend is reading this. And at the very bottom, how to install. But obviously we're going to adapt a bit. We're not going to install San Andreas's manager pack. We're going to be downloading his new version of that. So before we start downloading the Clay Soldier mod, we actually need to download Minecraft Forge 1.10.2. So that's what we're going to do now. In the description, once again, there's going to be a link straight to this web page, which is the download folder for 1.10.2. Simply click Install Windows. For the purpose of video making, I have Ad Blocker activated for this. So in the video, we don't get any pop ups. What I do recommend is disabling ad blocker so you support the mod developers themselves which I have done in the past so click on skip and then you'll be given the forge file simply click save file and now wherever your files go to once they have been downloaded they'll be there in most cases they'll be in the downloads folder so I'll give it a refresh and there you'll see forge 1.10.2 double click that and this is an exe file so you'll have to run it click run and then it'll have this very nice easy to use mod system installer make sure the install client is ticked and also this is ticked down below and then click OK and there you have it forge 1.10.2 is now installed OK so you now have Minecraft forge installed and now what we're going to do is we're going to launch Minecraft and then launch it via Forge. Just so we know that Forge is working properly and we're on the right track to install the mod. So here's the Minecraft launch window. Click on the launch options tab. If you don't have that tab, you'll see these three lines here in the top right. Click that, then click launch options. We want to add a new launch option. Now name it, I would recommend the Clay Soldiers mod. I'm going to put test at the very end just because it's a test file for video purposes. The version, this is very important, you need to go to the very bottom. This is where the Forge file is most likely going to be located. You're going to be want to press the release of 1.10.2 Forge. Then it'll have the version of Forge at the very end. Click that, and then click save. Click on Minecraft. And then make sure that you have the right forge highlighted. I personally do not have the right one, so I've got to click this arrow. Scroll down, Clay Soldiers Mod Test, which is the one we just named. Click on that, then click play. Minecraft will now launch with forge. Okay, so it looks like Minecraft Forge 1.10.2 has successfully installed. I know this by on the bottom left hand of the screen, it will say powered by Forge. Then also underneath it has how many mods are loaded and how many mods are activated. There is also a new mods tab here, which you can click that, scroll down and have a look at the mods installed. 
And there we go, that is the hardest part of this whole tutorial. Minecraft Forge is now installed. We're going to go over to the forum once again. Make sure to have a read and then what you're going to do is you're going to right click open a new tab with these two blue hyperlinks. Right click open a new tab. And what you will get is the new San Andreas's manager pack also known as the San Lib as the new updated one is called. What you do is you're going to simply go to the right hand side and click download. Save file. Open up the other link and you'll see the Clay Soldiers mod file. You'll see an A and B version. B is for beta, A is for alpha. We want the 1.10.2 version. This is the newest build of the Clay Soldiers mod currently in alpha. Click on that. On the top right hand side of the page you'll see a download button. Click on that and save file. Go to your downloads folder or wherever you save the files. Hold down control, left click, left click again and you've now highlighted both of the files. Right click, copy and then go to where you would search for a certain folder for your operating system. I'm using Windows 10 so it's on the bottom left. For Windows 7 users you might have to click the Windows key and then there'll be a search option there. Simply type in percent app data percent. Click on that. Then click on dot minecraft. Then click on mods. Right click, paste and there you have it. The San Andreas manager pack and the Clay Soldiers mod alpha 1.10.2 has been installed into your Minecraft mods. And there you have it. That is how you install the Clay Soldiers mod alpha, the first one. So just to make sure that it's all working perfectly, we're going to load up Minecraft once again. Make sure that you have the right one. If you don't know, you'll have in small text the version and obviously if using Forge it will say Forge and we named ours Clay Soldiers Mod Test so you want to click that then click play Minecraft will now load with Forge enabled and Forge will start the mods and there you have it Go to your mods tab and you'll see that the Clay Soldiers mod and San Andreas's mod pack has been added. And now if we go to any world, you can see that the Clay Soldiers mod has been added to the game. And there you have it. Thank you very much for watching this episode of the Clay Soldiers mod. I've been Zitlag from the Sneaky Bros. Make sure to give this video a like if it did help you. If you have any crashes, make sure to visit the Clay Soldiers official forum link in the description down below. They have all the crash reports there and most of the fixes. 99% of any crashes is fixable. It is going to be your end, not our end. One of the biggest crashes is not having the most recent version of Java installed which is Java 8. Make sure that you have version 8 of Java installed and crashes should be to a minimum. Thank you very much for watching guys. Make sure to leave a comment if this helped. Any suggestions down below if you're stuck, if you're having crashes, give us a comment. Make sure to check out our Discord server as well. Link in the description down below to talk to the mod developers themselves and people involved in the Sneaky Bros community. I've been Zitlak from the Sneaky Bros and as always I'll see you next time.